we can calculate the sum of square for each of the effect uh, sum of square in short uh, SS to uh, create an ANOVA table we have seen that the effect of A before we have seen that the effect of A can be calculated as 1 by 2 N and then there was uh, a B plus a minus P minus the contrast like that so using this equation we can calculate the um, uh, effect of a now this part is called the contrast a so the sum of a square of a is calculated like this uh, the contrast whole square divided by 4 n so basically uh, a b plus a minus b minus on the control divided by 4 n and then this piece is whole square similarly sum of a square of b can be calculated using the contrast of b so a b plus b minus a minus the control and then whole square divided by 4 n and also for sum of a square for a b the interaction effect a b plus the control minus a minus b whole square divided by 4 n and then we can create the total sum of a square a summation of we got two variables here so we can do um, summation of if we have replication i one two say we got only two level of that and then j for b we got uh, two level of that and then we got the replication k up to n then y i z k basically for each of the data point whole square and sum all of them minus the total of the data point whole square divided by 4 n we can calculate the sum of a square for total like that and then the sum of a square for error would be uh, sum of a square total minus the variation due to a variation due to b and then the variation due to a b and then we can create an over table so in an over table first thing you have is uh, sum of square or ss and then you got the mean square ms oh you got degrees of freedom let me do that so sum of a square and then degrees of freedom and then the mean square and then the f value and then the p value so if you break down all of the uh, total sum of a square uh, total sum of a square total can be break down into sum of a square a sum of a square b sum of a square a b and then the error sum of a square error and then the degrees of freedom because we have two level of a it's going to be one degrees of freedom this one is one and interaction is a times b so that's one and error depends on what is the replication uh, depending on number of replication and then ms would be basically um, sum of a square a by the degrees of freedom sum of a square b by the degrees of for these it's going to be same but for this it depends on what's the how many replication do you have and divide by the degrees of freedom and then f value would be basically for this msa by mse so this is the mse mse this one msb divided by mse and then this one is the interaction effect and the p value we can once we get the f value we can get the p value from there so this is the you know, analysis of variance that can be created entirely manually using the contrast values 
of a b and a b effect and also the total sum of a square